What's up guys? We've been spending so much time on the new build lately that I feel like we've been neglecting the uh, cube reef tank. What do you guys think? Time for an update? Oh, and uh, something really crazy happened to our anemone. So stick around till the end to uh, see what that is. It's really cool. Overall, I think the cube tank is doing really well. I am really happy with how it's doing. Um, and there's one big reason I'll save that for the end. Um, let's start with the fish. Uh, Swim Shady, the uh, orchid dotted back, uh, still usually just hiding in his cave down here. Um, just comes out to eat, but still fat. Hopefully we'll, we'll catch, a, catch him here at some point. Maybe I'll think I'm going to feed and come out. Um, Spike, the file fish, his usual self. And um, still always trying to uh, steal food from the enemy. And the one big change I would say is Sleepy, the uh, onyx clownfish. He has, I think, he has a little bit of PTSD, I think, because one time when I was feeding, he launched himself out of the water, knocked the feeding cup out of my hand, and since then has been very skittish and normally just hangs out in that corner. Um, I think that's the reason why, because it started soon after that. Um, hopefully he'll get over that at some point. I mean, he's still eating, but just confined to there. And I'm pretty sure Spike is not messing with him. And I'm pretty sure Swim Shady is not messing with him either. I've uh, been feeding them quite a bit just because I have such low nutrients. So definitely, they're definitely uh, nice and fat and at least well fed because I feed them two or three times a day now. Oh, there's, oh, I don't know if you guys caught him, but Swim Shady just peeked out for a minute there, or for a second there. Um, probably wondering why I'm standing in front of the tank and stuff, throwing food in. Um, let's go next to the, uh, the uh, corals. I'll start with the frag rack. The uh, rainbow incinerators, they're doing okay, not particularly super happy. I don't know if it's too much light in here, I don't know. Most of the, these guys on this rack uh, are destined for the, the new tank build. The forest fire digi is nice and ha happy. Look at that polyp extension and seems to be growing. The little hammer, um, not a lot of color, so let's we'll see how well he does in the other tank. And then the uh, these ultra gunnies are, I think, doing pretty well. It's hard to catch them uh, with this camera, but I think they're a little bit happier now. But I'm going to try to put them in the, the new tank and see if they'll like maybe less flow, because I do have quite a bit of flow in this tank. The um, Toxic Green Hammer continues to grow, doing well, continuing to uh, grow out its heads. The uh, little pink eyes, I call them. <laughs> the Skipper's Reef pink eyes, even though they look a little bit orangey on this camera. I guess they're sort of orange pink. I call them pink eyes. They're doing okay down there. I don't know. I gotta figure out where to put them and I may need to frag them, put some in the new tank. And the acros are all doing really well and starting to, uh, or continuing to grow. Uh, as you can see, the rainbow loom, zoom in, has been uh, melting into the uh, epoxy there. So, doing well. Uh, the Miyagi tort continuing to look awesome and continuing to grow. Uh, slowly but surely, and so is the PC Rainbow. Not quite bright colors, but uh, it's a little faded, but you can see 
some greens and yellows and, and reds, but I'd like it to be a little darker. Or a pearlberry, which at least which I think it is. It's doing well, starting to grow and spread and see show some polyps. Um, green stag, I think it's growing. It looks like it's getting beefier. It's not quite encrusting, but I think it's happy. And the uh, blue ice back there, I think slowly but surely growing, as well as the pink stag. Or pink, yeah, pink tip stag. No, this is the Miyagi tort. Sorry, this is the Poseidon tort. That's the Poseidon tort. This is the Miyagi tort. Uh, continuing to grow and encrust. Um, so, slowly but surely. And the Red Galaxy as well. I think it's starting to... All of them are starting to really encrust more. More and more. So... Overall, the corals are, I think, doing well. The uh, forest fire digi, the other piece, um, when I broke the two off accidentally, is doing pretty well back here and starting to encrust. Um, all right, this video is really not doing it any just justice. It's a lot really richer in color, at least in my eyes. But it's doing well, that's gonna stay, and I'll move this guy to the new tank. Here's a side view. If the camera will focus. So, um, as far as algae or <clears throat> dinos, definitely don't see any sign of dinos. And not really much algae. I see a little bit of bubble algae, which I've, as you can see right there, I need to probably remove. I am removing them as I see them. So no big deal. Uh, there's a little bit right there. Um, but not much other algae, except these little, I'm not sure if these, what really type of algae these are. So if you know, let me know it's more kind of film. Sorry if it's, my hand's kind of shaky, but it's kind of more film. It looks kind of like cyan, cyano, but it's hard to tell. Um, there's some down here too. It's hard to, it's probably not uh, good lighting there, so you won't be able to see it. Um, I think you could see some there. There. I'm hoping that the uh, snails will just take care of them, but I think they're keeping them at bay. I'm not really worried about them. It's they're, they're very little. Um, there it is. All the corals and the, uh, of course, the green green star polyps, you know, continuing to do well. They need to grow slowly in the back wall or maybe not so slowly. But here's the most exciting news. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already know, but Something super exciting to show you. Look at that. See anything different? See anything different? See anything different? The anemone just one day split into three. Look at that. And they they seem to be super happy still. So I don't know what caused them to split. I had been feeding a, feeding this anemone sort of sporadically and it had been growing and growing um, so it's been in this tank since February so what is that about wait is it February or January I don't know it's been about maybe about four months and it was growing and growing and then all of a sudden decided to split so you know they say that you have to kind of make it unhappy to split so I don't know uh, if it wasn't happy, I didn't think it was. So it was total surprise. But um, there they are, nice and wide open. They split a few days ago. I tried feeding them for the first time yesterday. And those two got to eat. That guy, I think I gave him too big of a piece. And uh, Spike over there, wherever he is. Um, tried to 
well, actually, I did take it, take the food, and I had to uh, take it away from Spike. So it was just too big of a chunk of shrimp. But um, crazy. I mean, it was just like no sign at all. I mean, it was kind of opening up pretty wide. You know, it was kind of around in this area and opening pretty wide. And then just one afternoon, you know, I didn't even notice it when I, I was looking at the tank in the morning, but then in the afternoon I was like, wait a minute, something looks different. Why are there, why does it look like there are three anemones in my tank? So that's crazy. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one anemone turn to three, you know, I assume when they say split, split into two, but that is crazy. So uh, keep an eye on those guys and uh, hopefully they'll continue to grow. So one thing I'm debating is whether whether someday to put one of them in the, uh, the new build, but I think the 10 gallon might be too small. So I don't know, we're gonna have to decide on that. Um, and the mushrooms over here continuing to, to do well. But that is the most exciting news really, uh, is the anemone news. Oh, and you know, there's the surviving zoas uh, seem to be doing well and coming out when we're not overgrown with dinos. But yes, the exciting news for Skipper's Reef is the multiplication of the anemones. Or the anemone. <laughs> All right, there it is, guys. Um, that's the update. Tanks doing well. I'm so happy. Um, I'll probably do another one. Uh, update you guys in a couple of days or in a couple of weeks as to my new dosing regimen. Um, and see how the uh, the water parameters are. I'll show you guys all that stuff. Um, but yeah, there is the update. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Really had fun making this update and really getting to spend a little more time checking out the cube tank in detail. Cause like I said, um, we've been so wrapped up with this uh, the new build back here. Um, although it's super exciting to start something new, we really can't neglect uh, uh, the old tanks, right? So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys how that tank continues to, uh, to grow, as well as how the three new, I guess, quote unquote new <laughs> anemones do in the next few weeks. So, we'll do another update soon, but, uh, We'll probably get back to the build in the next video. So stay tuned for that or keep a lookout for that. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Hope you guys have a great one. And as usual, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. So, and hit the notification button, notification bell button. <laughs> so you can get notified when new video, video videos, new videos are dropped <laughs> ah all right i think it's time to end it i think so enough talking by me you guys take care thank you for watching till then stay salty